All right, today we are gonna get a view of Pecan Plantation from Lake Granbury, so stay tuned. So we've talked about this before, Lake Granberry is just a dammed up Brazos River. So the water starts at Possum Kingdom, the dam releases from Possum Kingdom, the water travels down the Brazos River, and it, it enters the Brazos River area around Highway 51, which then becomes Lake Granberry. So Lake Granberry is just a dammed up Brazos River, and then the water is traveling all the way down over here to this dam. So this right here is the Lake Granberry Dam. This is called the Day Cordova Bend Dam, not to be confused with Day Cordova Bend Estates. So this is the Day Cordova Bend Dam, and over here is the Day Cordova Bend Park and Ramp. That's my favorite ramp to put in at. Here's our dam. Here is Pecan Plantation, right over here. So there's only 12 homes in Pecan Plantation that sit directly on Lake Granberry and they are on a street called Esplanade. So these are the 12 homes right here. Not all of them have boat ramps or boat docks, excuse me, but these are the 12 homes. Very rarely do they come up for sale. Now this right here is the Brazos River Authority. So the Brazos River Authority is who manages Lake Granberry. We are not a Corps of Engineer Lake. We are not a constant level lake. When the water is released from this dam right here, it travels down the Brazos River around the peninsula of Pecan Plantation. So the homes that we're seeing behind these power lines that are in Pecan Plantation are on Westover. Right behind the Westover homes is the Brazos River. Then you'll go, if you travel down this Brazos River right here, uh, on the other side of the dam, you would come to the front gate of Pecan. Then you're going to be traveling on the Brazos River around the peninsula, around Ravenswood. That'll take you all the way around Bell Chase and then it will take you right out as a crow flies, right across from where we are. The Brazos River will then take you down to Lake Whitney. So here's some guys out fishing. Today is November the 6th. It's 80 degrees today. It's an absolutely beautiful day. We've got a little bit of a wind, probably 15 mile an hour wind or so, but fantastic day to be on the boat, in my opinion, with my captain. Okay, here's my captain. <laughs> All right, so water's blow, uh, wind's blowing just a, a little bit. I'm hoping you're not getting a lot of wind noise, but these are some great homes right here in Pecan Plantation. And then we're gonna come up on the Pecan Plantation boat storage. So we're in a no wake zone and this is wet storage in Pecan. This is the marina. So the marina of Pecan Plantation is directly across from the De Cordova Bend Park ramp. Uh, several years ago when the water was down really, really, really low, I mean, we were in a crazy drought, they came in and they expanded, widened, and went all the way out with concrete, uh, this ramp, and that's why it's my favorite. It's so easy to get in and out of, whereas the Pecan ramp is not easy to get in and out of. Again, these are the homes. We've got a tech fan here. We're gonna let that slide since we're Aggies. Whoop. All right, so there is a waiting list for storage here in Pecan Plantation. Um, I've heard rumors that there's 150 people on the waiting list to get into wet storage in Pecan. I don't know what the price is, um, and I don't know if 150 people is accurate, but that's a lot of people. Beautiful, beautiful homes on Lake Granberry all 12 of them. The street again is Esplanade. You don't see these comes, you don't see them come up very often. Then um, we're looking over here at the marina. Currently, the marina gas is available. You can purchase gas. They've just closed the marina grill for the season and they're gonna open it up with a fantastic barbecue grill. Chef Jordan is gonna do all kinds of amazing things down here. Um, I've heard, you know, if you can get a marina burger here, you can get a burger at the club. So they're gonna try to make this just be a really special uh, place down here for food. Uh, but currently the grill is closed and you can kind of see how low the water is. I mean, our water is really low. We've, we haven't had much rain around here and you can see all these slips are full 
And uh, so we're coming up on the marina in Pecan and uh, my least favorite place to put in a boat. It is so steep, just crazy, crazy steep. Now, if you have a little bitty bass boat, uh, or, or maybe a smaller boat, it might not be such a big deal, but uh, extremely steep for us to try to get in our boat here. Uh, you can kind of see um, where people can fish. Um, I've got another video from the marina looking out to the water. You can see this crazy steep ramp. Uh, when you take your boat out or when you put your boat in, there's plenty of parking up there. Um, if you're just gonna be out for the day, you've got uh, some some guys over there right now, looks like they're getting gas. You can get bait and snacks and all kinds of stuff. There is a store up there and there is the Marina Grill that's closed. Uh, but there, it looks like there's a family over there right now doing some fishing. That's awesome. I love it. We, um, over the 19 years or so that we've been in Pecan, have done a lot of fishing over there with our girls. More storage. Now we're looking at the bluffs. So uh, the, the bluffs, uh, over here are not part of Pecan Plantation. Pecan Plantation ends right here where the marina is. There's another entrance on 144 uh, that you can only get through if you have a gate tag. And then right behind us, or right behind the marina is 144, which takes you into the back gate of Pecan. So that just gives you an idea of where we are. We are on Lake Granberry right now, and I think we're gonna go head to Stumpy's and grab some lunch. Thank you again for watching my YouTube channel. Stay tuned, uh, subscribe. I post videos every week. Make it a great day.